All right, guys, old stinky beard's gone, and uh, we got a new stinky beard. Now, this is a pygmy cross. He stinks to high heavens, probably twice as worse as that one we had before. So, we're going to go ahead and introduce him. And if our first Billy didn't get these guys pregnant, I was told this dude will. So, we'll see how it goes. All right, there, dude. Come on. Get in there. Come on. You gotta move. There you go. That's the time. Let him get acquainted with these girls. Yeah, I have no idea if that other go got all these girls pregnant or not. I know most of them look like they're pregnant. They should start, ha start having kids next month, but like I said, just in case those that don't know of pygmies, Nigerian dwarfs, a lot of them's got like a natural immunity to certain diseases and the and pests. So we definitely want to get them genetics in there. We do aim on making making a, a medium large size goat. Eventually, get them all about the same. But he's definitely checking them out. I mean, you can see them two Nubians right there in that uh, Swiss Alpine, and he ain't too... Mm -hmm. Oh, really? He's not too much smaller than them as far as the shoulders go, so shoulder height. So he should be able to get every one of them pregnant. All right, so we may have one not pregnant because he is chasing that one like crazy. So, <laughs> I think he's gonna be a good breeder. He is trying his dangest. Hey everybody, we're headed out to the barn this morning. Kim said that um, she found that we had some babies whenever she came out to check the chickens this morning. And so we're gonna go out and see what we have. Oh, look, we have a little brown one and a little white one. Now, Philip can get in there and see if they're boys or girls. They're all dried up. She had them sometime over the night. Just as cute as can be. Hi there, little feathers. Come here. That's a little boy. Come here. That's a little boy. Two little boys. So both of these will be up for discussion for sale, so. Unless we decide to keep one, I don't know. That brown one's awful cute. Sure they're both is. awful cute, but they're boys, so they'll probably be up for discussion. All right. But she's a good mama. Next to his mommy. I really want this one. I really want this one. I'll like to me, mommy. Look. I see. No, don't pick him up. Don't pick him up. Oh, I, I like this one. You me? We might keep one. I don't know. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, this is so adorable. That's the one mommy likes. That brown one. Yeah. Mommy, like mommy, you like this one. Mommy, you like 
this one's mm -hmm. cute. I could I pick it up pick it up, but not. Look, he's wagging his tail, he likes you. Especially from last year these rubber dogs are really good but they're not good for newborns so if we fill this up with water what it could happen very likely these babies are gonna fall on here it's still pretty cold outside guys so the baby could get wet if it can't get out or even if it does it's still gonna be soaking wet so what I did we got one of these grain feeders Put it up just high enough where the babies can't get in it, and we're just going to put water in this. Try to prevent uh, any problems with the babies. So that way the mom gets plenty to drink, and the babies don't have to suffer for it. Thank you for watching Chamberlain Family Farms. You can contact us at chamberlainff at gmail.com. You can also see us on Facebook, Chamberlain Family Farms. We hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe.